Spring has finally sprung in Apex, North Carolina, and it's time for baseball. It's the Apex Friendship Patriots hosting the Hamden Hall Hornets from Connecticut. A matchup in the making that we're set to bring to you live from behind the backstop on YouTube. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Patriots Baseball, along with Bob Flanagan, Brian Von Dett, I'm Bill Martone. Coach Civitello and the Patriots looking for their second win of the season after dropping game one to Middle Creek on Tuesday with game two tomorrow at 6 p.m. on the road at Middle Creek. But this afternoon, a matchup that puts the Patriots starting pitcher Noah Jenna at the bump for the first time in 2024 to face off against the Hornets co-captain, senior Gavin Lyons. The Hornets making their season debut, having traveled merely 600 miles south from Connecticut to Apex to start their spring training for the 2024 season. The Patriots in dire need of using their best Hornet spray today, but need to point it downwind after two weeks of losses. Stay tuned as it's all coming up next, live from behind the backstop. Patriots baseball from behind the backstop brought to you in part by Apex Friendship. Patriot Athletic Club, join the pack and G Fiber, number one in customer service. With Noah Jenna about to take the mound and the Patriots the field, we're gonna take a quick look at the starting lineup of the Hornets. Brought to you by our good friends putting on the AFPAC Golf Tournament on April 29th. In the leadoff position, Amato Civitello batting second, Brady Shranovitz. Sher Gavin Lyons, Logan Charbonneau, Billy Cole, Atticus Bird, Eric Yigiello, Brian Lynch, and Will McCary rounding out the order. Some changes to the graphic on your screen as a scratch and replacement had already taken place. Live in the booth with me, Bob Flanagan, Brian Von Dett. Welcome back, gentlemen. Good to see you. Brian with the night off on Tuesday. Bob and I holding down the floor with Jake Jenna. Anthony Parada, we had a special guest star, Max Schrock, former major leaguer. Spent time drafted by the Nationals, A's, Cardinals, Chicago too. Yeah. I think squeezed in there. And Same, then and I think the Astros also. I didn't read that in his bio, but what do I know? <laughs> Close enough. He talked about the Astros. It's a rounding Maybe he's an Astros fan. <laughs> Executive producer Anthony Parada on the cameras this afternoon with our cameraman off to the far right side, Todd Farrell. The coach is meeting with the umpires at home plate. About to get action started here at Patriot Park. That is one heck of an intro song from TBS. Yes, Mr. it Mark is. Mark Willett, the composer. How'd you get that? I uh, fell off the back of a truck. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're just waiting for some stadium announcements. We're going to take a quick commercial timeout and pay some bills. We'll be right back. Monday, April 29th, the Apex Friendship Athletic Club invites golfers of all abilities to partake in their third annual AFPAC Booster Club Golf Tournament. This year's event, being held at the Club at 12 Oaks in Holly Springs, is a shotgun start at 11 a.m. The Jack Nicholas Design Course is guaranteed to provide a fun and memorable experience to all who partake in the four-person scramble event, including lunch, drinks, and a dinner banquet immediately following tournament play. 
All proceeds from this event will ensure a memorable high school experience for the student athletes of Apex Friendship High School by providing facilities, uniforms, and equipment. Don't wait. This is sure to be another sellout tournament. Register today by clicking on the link in the description notes of this broadcast. AFPAC looks forward to seeing you on and off the course on Monday, April 29th. I work remotely. I'm usually on conference calls all day, and my mom's streaming to like 4 a.m. Some people have to work in the morning. <laughs> when we moved to the house, my mom did not get continuous internet, but with Google Fiber, we were able to expand our mesh network. Now she can watch her streaming shows while I'm doing work. Without internet, I'm just like a dad. <laughs> Sign up for Google Fiber today at fiber.google.com. Welcome back to live action here at Patriot Park. I'm Bill Martone in the booth with me, Bob Flanagan and Brian Vondetta on the hot mics, gentlemen. <laughs> Bob. Well, hello. <laughs> Actually, I think I have a... There's a Civitello. Might have your mic turned off, Bob. We're gonna have to hold on a second. Okay.
No, oh, there's another one. Uh, we're just going to put you on a different port, I think. We have no ambient audio this afternoon. By choice, seems we're able to pick up plenty. You're hot now, Bob. Am I back? I'm back. Yes, back. we're back. All right, let's take All right. take a quick read on our starting pitcher. Noah Jenna. Leading us off. Short stop, number six. Thanks to Max Preps, Noah Jenna towing the slab here in Patriot Park on Thursday afternoon in Apex. His first appearance this season on varsity last year in JV. He had seven appearances, faced 75, ended the season with a 175 ERA and a batting average, of, opposing batting average of 294. The first pitch from Jenna swung on, lined in the right center, and we are underway. Diving attempt by the center fielder, Drew Chaccio. Behind him, the right fielder with a stand, uh, head first sliding double to lead off the game on the first pitch. It's a good way to start. Amato Civitello for the Hornets out of Connecticut. A UConn commit. Brady Cernovitz coming up to the plate. Brian, we're getting a lot of mouth and noises from you, sir. <laughs> Your lips must be dry. They are. Is that better? A little bit. Is that better? First pitch to Shervanovitz. A little bit of a high fastball from Noah Jenna. Hard grounder to the uh, opposite side of Jen Steiner through the gap. Steiner's That's the way to start off. Steiner left too soon on that. That's all. Braden Bloom out in left field. Tries to come up with a clean, a little bit of a bobble. First and third after two pitches from Noah Jenna. Three, frankly. Yes. There we go. Third batter now in the lineup. Steps into the plate. Gavin Lyons, he's going to be the starting pitcher. He's a co-captain for... Hey, Bob, we can all hear you. I know. I don't <laughs> care. Jenna comes set. Deals. Hard bouncer on the right side. Jeez. Slapped into right field. And a run scores first and second now on just a handful of pitches out of Noah Jenna. Now up to bat. Well, I think in his case, in Jenna's case, it's important that he hit his, his location, mm -hmm. his spots. And he'll be just fine. It's, a, it's his first varsity game, too, so let's mm -hmm. cut him a little slack here. Mm. I'd come back with that pitch because he's waiting on the fastball now. I'd come looking for that T right there at the end. That one. Good pitch. Yep. Good pitch there. Lions swing and a miss on a fastball from Jenna. This young man up to bat is the U University of Texas commit. Breaking ball. Good pitch. Routine fly ball should be, but in the sun, and almost a collision between Come off the our center fielder and... Brendan Patience, who's over in right field starting today. So as soon as we get an out, we'll give you a little bit of a defensive read for got, the Patriots. We got, we got one out. Runners on first and third. Langston Char Charbonneau. 
Logan Charbonneau. Throw to first base. Cutting fastball from Jenna just misses a little bit outside. You guys got to stop whispering. <laughs> Sorry. Get foul. Fly ball down the right side. It's going to find its way into foul territory and go off the fence for Brendan Patience to get it in. Hey, throw a ground ball here. Let's go, Let's get out of this. Good pitch. Or strike him out. We'll take that too. Yeah. Mentioned earlier, Jenna's stats from JV last spring. Billy Cole at the plate, batting in the fifth position of the lineup for the Hornets. Top of the first, one run game, no outs, one out. One out. Runners first and third, one bounce to the shortstop, takes it himself, double play attempt. Well, good play, oh. Safe off the bag, says oh. the field umpire and a run scores. Valid attempt by the Patriots infield for a double play. Jen Steiner with a little bit too oh. much spring off the second base trampoline out there. Good try. But a yep. very, very aggressive attempt. Hard hit ball, too. It was yes, it very was. played yep. well by the shortstop. Two outs now in the top of the first inning. Hornets with a quick two run lead. Runner goes, throw down, is going to be right in the base path, and that will be a third out. A Beautiful. quick defensive read of the Patriots on the, going across the outfield. Patience, Chachio, and Cirasol. That's not the right graphic. No, the outfield is uh, – Patience in right, and Buster Bloom in left, followed yep. by Payne, Steiner, Byler, and Cannon from third to first with J.J. Vondette behind the plate catching for Noah Jenna. Yep. So Patriots have a two-run – Deficit to get out of quickly. Seem to have lost our way already, Bob. That's a good sign. Starting pitcher Gavin Line about to take the mound with the Hornets behind him. Let's take a quick look at the Apex Friendship Patriots starting lineup. Leading off, Buster Bloom in the two spot. Brady Byler followed by Jen Steiner batting third. In cleanup, J.J. Vondette and in the power position batting. Connor Payne followed by Bryce Cannon. Owen Cirasol as the DH for pitcher Noah Jenna. With Brendan Patience and Drew Chaccio at the bottom of the lineup. Defensively for the Hornets. In the outfield, Yigiello, McGarry, and Charbonneau across the outfield from left to right. Cole, Civitello, Silla, and Bird on the infield from third to first. And Shiro, wow, stumbling already. Shinovitz uh, catching for Lions. There was a uh, replacement in there. I do not have it, so apologies. I know that's not exactly correct, but it's close enough for government work.
back to live action. Patriot Park, All right, here Apex, we go. North Carolina. Let's get a good start going here. Bottom of the first inning as the Patriots face off against the Hornets. Hamden Hall Hornets out of Connecticut. First pitch by Lions called strike. Fly ball, right field, can of corn for. Good shot by Bloom that time. The Hornets right fielder. Feels so lost without a paper card in my hand, Bob. You're just old school, man. Yes, that's why you put all this together. Logan Charbonneau with the running catch as he approaches the right field foul line. Good cut by Brady that time. You know what, they're pretty big on the corners. <laughs> Make them throw it around. Yeah. Inside cuff to Byler, he's charging first a collision and a safe by Good hustle, Brady. Good hustle. Runs out the throw from Civitello. Good hustle right there. Good start. Good job. Now up to bat, our shortstop. Need of a little communication on the infield, but a, that was terrifically, a, heck of a play anyway. I was going to say terrifically athletic play by could Civitello. Have gone a whole many different angles. That was why I said they're pretty big on the corners. Maybe they don't move as well. Right. So. Maybe we, I'm just saying. But Brady hustled, good job on that. That's a base hit. Steiner rips it hard right to the third baseman and the Hornets are gonna roll two to get out of the inning, one, two, three. Yeah. <sighs> After one, the Patriots trail by two. Live from behind the backstop. Upgrade to Google Fiber and pay one simple bill every month. What about extra fees, like installation? Taken care of. Equipment? No. Data overages? There's no such thing. Find out when we're coming to your neighborhood at fiber.google.com. Monday, April 29th, the Apex Friendship Athletic Club invites golfers of all abilities to partake in their third annual AFPAC Booster Club Golf Tournament. This year's event, being held at the Club at 12 Oaks in Holly Springs, is a shotgun start at 11 a.m. The Jack Nicholas design course is guaranteed to provide a fun and memorable experience to all who partake in the four-person scramble event, including lunch, drinks, and a dinner banquet immediately following tournament play. All proceeds from this event will ensure a memorable high school experience for the student athletes of Apex Friendship High School by providing facilities, uniforms, and equipment. Don't wait. This is sure to be another sellout tournament. Register today by clicking on the link in the description notes of this broadcast. AFPAC looks forward to seeing you on and off the course on Monday, April 29th. I started the company not knowing I was ever gonna start a company. Uh, so we were actually looking to build a house. We decided to build our own fence, priced out the materials and did the job myself. If you're looking for great customer service at a great price, without jeopardizing quality, call Big Jerry's Fence. Welcome back to live action. You get yellow at the plate to lead off the top of the second inning for the Hornets. Jenna's first pitch. Good pitch. On the inside. There. Yep. I like that. Don't just throw it down the middle. That was a good pitch. Yep. A little movement on it. Yep. It did. 
little, little chin, chin music. Little chin music yeah, yeah. there. <laughs> nobody's nobody's feeling comfy in that batter's box. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Now come back. It'll only hurt for a little while. <laughs> it'll, it'll it'll leave a mark though. Good pitch. Inside just oh. misses. Home plate umpire talking. Cannot be worse than Yagello. the other one. Just cannot be worse. Polish name, Yagello. I was looking these up, pronunciations, last night. Didn't want to offend anybody. Yeah, because we do get offended around here a lot. But yeah. who knows what the Americanized, anglicized pronunciation is. I know I looked up Coach Civitello's proper pronunciation, and it's Shivatello. Good pitch. Though Susan is probably cringing right now, Brian, since she speaks fluid Italian. Yes. And I just probably oh, butchered it. should call the... her Mama Celeste. <laughs> that was a good pitch. Ah. You know that. Yeah, that, yellow that, gets walked, that ball, brings up moving. Ryan Lynch. That ball, his pitch there is moving. Started outside. Mm -hmm. Maybe a little bit. That's all. 23. Jenna at 18 pitches as we get to the eighth batter in the lineup of nine for the Hornets. I'm surprised nobody's up yet. But I, I think you got to let him finish the inning. Yeah. Just because he needs to. He needs to throw. Play JJ. Keep Lynch the ball shows the bunt. So this is the number eight batter. You got to throw fastballs by this kid. Mm -hmm. Like I said, good job, good pitch. Live there, right on the outside part of the plate. Live right there, really good pitch. I got my Homer hat on today. <laughs> ah. He runs the count to 31. Runner on first, nobody out. The number eight batter, Ryan Lynch at bat. The first baseman. Ooh. Attempted bunt. Goes foul. JJ kind of looked at him like, hey, that hit him out of the box. Yeah. I just, he turned around and looked at the ump like. Yeah, get the whistle out. For the peanut gallery at home, today's umpire noticeably a bit more astute than uh, Tuesday night, agreed? Good pitch. Oh. Um, High and inside, if you ask me, from this vantage point. We, we, um, I, I could have umpired better than that dude the other night. I, I appreciate the fact he was here. I got to give him props for that. Well, but exactly. We appreciate every umpire that's out here. The reality, however, though, is that a high school seven inning game should not go over three hours. Well, right? somebody, I thought, I forget who said it. Somebody said it best that he was. Clearly, in, inconsistently, 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 inconsistent. inconsistent. Yes. This is a fair assessment without being yes. critical or negative. It's just simply Oh, no, that's negative because I'm all with that. <laughs> there you go. Sack bunt by the bottom of the lineup for the Hornets. Puts runners on second and third. Now to bat, number 10, catcher. Game time weather presented to you by Big Jerry's Fencing, the official backyard fencing of behind the backstop. Temperatures at 78 degrees with only about 25% humidity. Light wind at about 7 degrees out of the southwest. And it is just gorgeous day for baseball. Yes, it is. Yeah, it definitely worked out well. These guys came all the way from Hamden, Connecticut, not to be rained out. <laughs> right. Hornets there's, there's playing. There's no room for makeups. Playing today here at Patriot Park. Tomorrow, I believe, at Leesville, Leesville Road. And then Saturday. At uh, Cardinal Gibbons. Cardinal Gibbons. Before they head back north, 600 miles to Connecticut. 
to start off their 2024 season. Good nice pitch. Break, breaking ball from Jenna. Hey, you know, grabs something the to notice on the that pitch. Zone. The ball was a little outside. Yep. He should live there. Yeah. Throw that ball there. Yeah. Let him go reach out and get it. Good pitch. Jenna deals. Hard ground oh. ball on the right side. Diving Byler, unable to get to it. Brendan Patience comes up, and Cannon cuts off the throw from right field. Runner scores, makes it a three. Nothing game in the top of the now second ready. inning. Number one, shortstop, Amato Civitello. Well, we got to swing the bat with these guys. Yes. They, they you know. Nothing down the middle. Oh, shit. Pass ball that gets away from Vondette as he slides through the grass toward the backstop warning track. The usuals checking in in the live chat. Thank you, Gene Steiner, Ryan Steiner, Vincent, Jenna along with Stephen Bowen and Stan Brothers. Thank you, as always, to all of you for joining us on the live chat. we got 29 people. Please let us know where you're watching from. Are you local? Are you fans of another high school in the Southwest Wake Athletic Conference and uh, eavesdropping on the Patriots? Good pitch. Breaking ball from Jenna finds the strike that, zone. That's the pitch strike. right there. Mm -hmm. He can put that ball there. He'll be just fine. That's a good pitch. Top of the second, one out, runner on second. Another Breaking good ball, foul tip, end of the glove, and that's an out. Nice play by J.J. Vondette, the catcher. Hey, is, is Noah Jenna a junior or a sophomore? I believe he's a junior. Is he? Yeah. Okay. All right, we got two outs. Let's go. Yep, let's get out of this. Dad, Jake Jenna on the game changer duties as always, and our statistician, he's pacing like a soon-to-be father in a waiting room. <laughs> Jeez. I knew that's where you were going. Breaking ball from Jenna. He's found the strike zone with that pitch now. That's a good pitch. Mm -hmm. Very good pitch and a good weapon if that's what's going to get to the Hornets. Then. All he can do is hit that one down in the dirt. That's right. Right. Throw it again. You're, you're on a roll with it. Yeah. Ride it until it dies, right? That time the breaking ball stays up just a little bit more. Thirty-four people now checking in. Uh, Eileen Jenna come from on. Holly Springs. Got a two-two count. Two out or two-one count. Thanks for joining us, Eileen. Sorry you're working. So are we. Breaking a sweat. Oh. Bondette throws down and a valid attempt. Even though the ball had bounced off his chest protector a little bit too far away. Had he been able to get to that ball quicker, definitely was going to be a. All right, let's get the batter here. We got yeah. two outs. Punch out down. Focus on third. this. Three, three and one count. Come on. Viewership just keeps continuing to climb here as we get into the top of the second inning with two outs. Runners on first and second. Two-run game for the Patriots, trailing the Hornets. In the bottom of the first, the Patriots went 1-2-3 in order. That will bring up when they come back in. Vondette to lead off, followed by Connor Payne and Bryce Cannon. Three of the hottest hitting Patriots in the lineup as of uh, – this early part of the season, 2024. Great pitch. Great pitch there. Good start. Carlos Reyes checking in, Throw I presume, again. from up north in the great state of Connecticut, possibly. Let's go, Hornets. Thanks for joining us. 
Kurt Yellow. Appreciate you tuning in, sir. Cindy Lynch. I think we got a good contingency of parents and family up in Connecticut watching us live from behind the backstop. Oh. A big hopping ground ball over the head of Bryce Cannon at first. One run will score and a runner will advance down to third. So first and third, two outs in the top of the second inning. The Hornets with a five-run lead. So that, that there, he did exactly what the pitch. He beat it into the ground. He just got a good hop. There's nothing anyone could have done with that good pitch. Lori Yannick from Michigan tuning in on behalf of the Patriots. Thanks for announcing yourself. 33 folks following along and grateful for all of you who are enjoying today's broadcast from Patriot Park in Apex, North Carolina. Can I ask a question? I'd like one of the people in Connecticut to tell us what the temperature is up there right now. Oh my Bob gosh. is technically challenged. If you're not aware, he's... I just want to know what the temperature is. Unaware in, that there's Hampton, such a thing as the Weather Channel app on your phone. <laughs> I, don't, I just didn't feel like doing it. I was, okay. trying, to get, I was okay. trying to get some involvement here. That's I like that. I won't even yeah, bother that. Stop fighting. I won't even bother. I'll let our audience chime in and give us some updates on Al Roker's forecast for today out of Connecticut, the tri-state area. No agenda deals. Misses a Do little up and away. Do we know how many pitches he's at yet? We do. We just don't want to tell you. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> Roughly 41 pitches for Jenna. Okay. Deals. Looks like he's trying to go back to that breaking ball, but it's not getting the spin yeah. rate and maybe the release point that's needed to generate that 12-6 well, motion. He's gotten a combination of a little bit of bad luck about where they've hit the ball, how they've hit the ball. Um, Coach Siv going to make a mound visit. Charbonneau draws the walk to make a first and second with two outs. Capacity crowd down the fence line there. We're about up to 4,000. <laughs> Not only that, we got less. a little bit of press cam here, Bob. Step back into frame and say hello to everybody out in uh, YouTube land. Thank you. Appreciate it. I know our viewers love to see our beautiful faces, as Mr. Mansfield said. He pales in comparison to our uh, dapper good looks. You know, a funny story for you guys. You know you know the singer John Mayer? Yeah. He wrote a song about me. You know what the song was? It's one of his songs. My Body's a Wonderland. Oh, I thought you were going to say it's getting deep in here. <laughs> you were right on the money. It's getting deep in here. Really deep. Your fan club is appreciating that I one, just Bob. Jumped, I'm trying to make – Make something happen here. Hard ground ball to Steiner. Two hops off the bottom of oh, his hand geez. as he tries to palm it into the webbing. So, the come on, guys! Come on, guys! A technical, technical E six for yeah. Steiner in the book. Not a criticism, but a fact. If anybody's new yeah, to criticize. the game of baseball, they do keep track of hits, runs, and errors. Come on, let's settle down here. Let's go. Jenna steps away, and Vondette stays squatted. This year new for the Patriots, I think for maybe most of North Carolina, is uh, digital pitch calling between the dugout and the catcher. That's a boy eight. Way to throw the ball there. If you're going to throw that fastball, throw it there mm -hmm. on the outside part of the play. And he's calling it there. Lions on third, Charbonneau on second, and Cole down on first. Bird at the plate. Good try. Mm -hmm. Good try. He's right there. Jenna tries to get the outside corner just a bit outside. Just a hair. Just a bit outside. 65 and sunny, says Kurt Yigiello. Thank you. 58 and sunny for Cindy Lynch. 64 degrees for Carlos Reyes. Range of temperatures, Michael any, Raymond, Ph.D., my, 66. My next question, is there any snow on the ground? Because we haven't so. seen snow. No. That's a four-letter word here in the Carolinas. For any of you who are still living up north, my condolences. But <laughs> most of us that are here uh, all have ties to the northeast in some capacity. And we're here because we do not like snow or cold. Two four-letter words <laughs> that the North Carolinians uh, ingrain in you as soon as you cross that 
Virginia, North Carolina line. Up in the bullpen looks to be senior Cole Flanagan. And you guys know I'll be departing. Oh, come on, Bob. Oh, no, no, no. I stayed put Tuesday night. Yeah, I'm not. Okay, good for you. We'll put the headphones on Jason. <laughs> Vince and Jenna, MSW. Feels like I'm watching an MLB game except without the salaries. Oh, are you not kidding, sir? <laughs> Please oh, call geez. Bud Selig. Let him know the check keeps bouncing. Cannon. Cuts off the throw from Drew Chaccio out in center field, two run score, making it eight nothing in the top of the second inning. Come on, dude, you gotta move down there in that bullpen. Jenna's fastball up and in, just past. Hey, the deep shoulders. breath out there. Come on, buddy. You got this. Cole, Billy Cole at second. Atticus Bird down at first. Chopper through the left side of the infield, past Payne and Steiner. Throw into home, bounces off of Von Dett as Billy Cole slides through on. What I think he's going to say is like pavement. He kind of jumped up saying, ow. I could see the expression on his face. Maybe the Hornets will uh, influence our facilities director to uh, improve some of the grounds here. It looks beautiful, to be brutally honest. There's a lot of... Elbow grease, blood, sweat, and tears that have gone into making Patriots Park as beautiful as it is this early in the season. Newly painted dugouts, thanks to Jason Ramirez, along with any number of capital improvements from the entrance to the backwoods being cleaned out to the batting facility being repaired. What am I missing, gentlemen? Scoreboard. Scoreboard out in left field. This is his last batter. I think he comes out. Yes. Brendan Patience scoops it up. Cannon cuts it off to home plate, and the tag just not in time. Terrific baseball effort by the Patriots from right to first to home. Atticus Bird, though, sliding in through just before the tag to make it 10 nothing in the top of the second inning. I've uh, advised all the staff here behind the backstop that uh, our number one clientele are grandparents. Gene Steiner checking in, Vincent Jenna checking in, Stan Brothers. I know my own father watches from time to time, so uh, grandparents are our customers. We aim to please, though for Patriots fans, the Hornets are getting the best of them. Mm-hmm. Attempted breaking ball inside. But you know you know what those some of the balls have been some C and I hits. We've made some mistakes in the field, but some of the balls I mean Oh you can't. Hornets are, are a terrific hitting team already. Yes, exactly. I like I like innings. their I like their mental approach at the plate. Very aggressive baseball called strike for Jenna. Flanagan seems to have gone into the dugout now, came out of the bullpen. Two outs, two on, top of the second. And a 10-run game. First Bounced base. just in front. Jenna gets it, flips it to Cannon, makes it three. So the Patriots finally get some relief after a very long inning. Right. Live from behind the backstop on YouTube. We'll be right back. Simple bill every month. What about extra fees like installation? Lost Taking care of. Oh, that Equipment? was it. That was the no. one I wanted. Data overages? There's no such thing. 
Find out when we're coming to your neighborhood at fiber.google.com. I started the company not knowing I was ever going to start a company. Uh, so we were actually looking to build a house. We decided to build our own fence, priced out the materials, and did the job myself. If you're looking for great customer service at a great price, without jeopardizing quality, call Big Jerry's Fence. work remotely. I'm usually on conference calls all day and my mom's streaming to like 4 a.m. Some people have to work in the morning. <laughs> when we moved to the house, my mom did not get continuous internet, but with Google Fiber, we were able to expand our mesh network. Now she can watch her streaming shows while I'm doing work. Without internet, I'm just like a dad. <laughs> Sign up for Google Fiber today at fiber.google.com. Back at Patriot Park as the Pats take on the Hornets out of Connecticut. Hamden Hall Country Day School. Bottom of the second inning, leading off with Vondette, followed by Connor Payne and Bryce Cannon. Patriots going one, two, three in order in the Come on, bottom JJ. of the first inning. First pitch fastball here. Let's go. Atta boy. Good take. On the first pitch from Lyons was a little bit of a sidearm delivery. He, they said he's a three-quarter thrower. Three-quarter, nice. Yep. yep, that was one of the things they talked about. Chop just fouled past a third base, and Billy Cole backhanding it in foul territory. Yeah, I'm about a one-tenth. Of so what? Anything. Oh. When it comes to pitching, I have zero velocity. Another foul ball, so Vondette with a quick 0-2 count or 1-2 count. Charlotte Scahan checking in for Cole Flanagan. Don't want to promise Grandma. anything, Charlotte. Grandma. Grandma. But uh, presume he'll be coming out. In I would imagine. Although he didn't throw a whole lot in the bullpen, so. Jenna, after two innings, threw 60 pitches, 31 strikes. Decent strike ratio. One strikeout, four walks, six earned runs, and eight hits. Hornets are just a very effective ball club at a high level. We, we, we haven't really challenged him yet. Out at no, first. I think this could be very good for the Pats, for the Patriots. They are seeing a ball club, especially as they head into USA Baseball's Invitational, National High School Invitational, seeing a club that's extremely aggressive and effective. They don't really take any pitches. They jump on everything that's in and around the zone. Like that pitch exactly. Yeah, that, that was, was. They, they didn't take that pitch. That's the difference. They hit that ball. Yeah. That's okay. Even Come on. if it was a foul. Good swing. It's a, it's, it's a mentality. It's not about abilities. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's about its mentality. Foul ball from Connor Payne. He's really hit the ball well. Payne leading the Patriots in batting average. Yep. Lions deals, sidearm, three-quarter, misses outside. One-two with one out, nobody on. So before the game, 
We were told he was 94-95. No way. No way. 89 right there on the clock just outside our broadcast booth. Him? I mean, unless it's lying to me, I don't know. Well, we faced uh, Kakovic from Holly Springs. He was 88. And we hit him. There you go. Hard hit ground ball through there the left side go. of the infield. Out to Yagello. You know what? One thing about Connor Payne. Gets down when on When he knee. keeps his feet still, he hits the ball excellent. You, you know that? That was a good hit. Yep. So Connor Payne with the first hit for the Patriots. Up next now, Bryce Cannon, the first baseman for the Patriots with one out and one aboard. Lions first pitch to Bryce Cannon, a called strike fastball down and the heart of the plate. He's a fastball hitter. Cannon had, has had some Clutch doubles for the Patriots. Top outside corner of the strike zone for strike two. And they weren't so happy with that call. There. Hard hit oh. straight to the first baseman, and we're going to play a little... Are you Tap kidding? Tap dance right there. So a double play by the first baseman. Ends the threat for the Patriots with one left on. Or caught up in a double play. The Patriots and the Hornets facing off at Patriot Park. It's the top of the third inning. Live from behind the backstop on YouTube. We'll be right back. I work remotely. I'm usually on conference calls all day, and my mom's streaming to like 4 a.m. Some people have to work in the morning. <laughs> when we moved to the house, my mom did not get continuous internet, but with Google Fiber, we were able to expand our mesh network. Now she can watch her streaming shows while I'm doing work. Without internet, I'm just like a dad. <laughs> Sign up for Google Fiber today at fiber.google.com. Welcome back to Patriots Baseball, live from behind the backstop on YouTube. Patriots Park, Apex, North Carolina, as the Patriots face off against the Hamden Hall Hornets out of Connecticut. Taking the mound now for the Patriots, Cole Flanagan with last year's stats in view. Five appearances in the 2023 varsity season. One win, 4.91 ERA after five appearances, facing 82 batters, pitching across 15 and two-thirds of an inning. 12 walks and four strikeouts. Most noted stat there for Flanagan, a 266 opposing batting average. Flanagan with an uncanny ability to locate in and around the strike zone, getting batters to ground out, fly out, line out, and basically keep the ball in play and the Patriots in the game. And that's exactly what Coach Guy Civitello and the rest of the Patriot defense are going to be looking for from the senior right-handed pitcher. As he gets ready to go play in college. Brian, where is uh, Mr. Flanagan headed off? He Hickory? Take a look. Flanagan? Mr. Cole Flanagan on the mound. Where is he? Catawba Valley in Hickory, North Carolina. Juco School. Last year's shortstop, A.J. Chachio, who's up at Catawba this year as a freshman, checked in on our broadcast Tuesday. Thanks for watching, AJ. I understand a lot of the Catawba Valley 
baseball team will watch our broadcast back in the clubhouse locker room. Always appreciate expanding our visibility in the market. Ground ball smothered by Steiner across to Cannon. 6-3 to start the inning off. And that right there is what I was speaking about, Brian, where Cole Flanagan has that that great ability to keep the ball in the strike zone to tempt the batters, but not enough to really do a ton of damage. Yep. That's all I want to hear when I make a point is someone say, yep. Just don't disagree with me. <laughs> Flanagan with the pause delivery, a line shot into left field. Bloom comes up with it, misses the cutoff, and Chernovitz with the stand-up double. Twenty-four people watching. If you haven't yet checked in with your location, let us know. Gene Steiner says it's thirty degrees here, no snow, but Bob's song should be "It's Hard to Be Humble." <laughs> <laughs> very, very well played, Grandma Steiner. What was the other song? Ask our people. No, Carly. Well, it, was, it, it was something from the 70s. Uh, I can't think of the lady's name. And uh, You're So Vain. Can't remember the artist. Carly Simon? Is that about her ex-husband? Neil Simon? Flanagan with the called strike. On Lions. One out, one on, one ball, one strike. Flanagan keeps it low, bounces off of Connor Payne, gets it across, not in time, and Lions will beat out the throw, but the runner stays at second. So first and second, one out. Julie Martinez checking in on behalf of the Hornets out of Connecticut. Flanagan with the turn back to second. Charbonneau, Chernovitz takes a step towards second but stays off the bag without any one covering. Flanagan did not like what he just felt. <laughs> I think we're going to cut to a commercial for a moment, and we'll be right back. I started the company not knowing I was ever going to start a company. Uh, so we were actually looking to build a house. We decided to build our own fence, priced out the materials, and did the job myself. If you're looking for great customer service at a great price without jeopardizing quality, call Big Jerry's Fence. work remotely. I'm usually on conference calls all day and my mom's streaming to like 4 a.m. Some people have to work in the morning. <laughs> when we moved to the house, my mom did not get continuous internet, but with Google Fiber, we were able to expand our mesh network. Now she can watch her streaming shows while I'm doing work. Without internet, I'm just like a dad. <laughs> Sign up for Google Fiber today at fiber.google.com.
Welcome back to Patriot Park. Bit of a pitching change for the Patriots. A little bit of discomfort for Flanagan after a few batters. Connor Payne now steps in on the bump. Payne with one appearance, 4.67 ERA, having faced 16 batters, opposing batting average 250, five strikeouts, four walks. Three innings pitched here in the 2024 season. We'll have some infield defensive changes for the Patriots. Looks like Hayden Phones is going to take short. Jen Steiner is going to slide over to third. Rest of the infield with Brady Byler and Bryce Cannon on the right side will stay put. The outfield is appearing to be unchanged, as is J.J. Bondette behind the plate. So the Patriots with a 10-run deficit in the top of the third inning. Third pitcher for the Patriots after Jake Jenna went about 60 pitches across two innings. Flanagan through nine pitches for apparently feeling a strain in the upper arm are the early unofficial reports from the sidelines. Patriots tomorrow night at Middle Creek, 6 p.m. Eastern here from behind the backstop as they are on the road at Middle Creek High School in Apex. One of many crosstown rivalries between the Patriots, the Cougars of Apex High School, the Mustangs of Middle Creek High School, and the Hawks of Holly Springs. But Friday night, six o'clock, Middle Creek High School as the Patriots and Mustangs face off in game two of the regular conference season scheduled matchup. All right, just about to get back to live action as Charbonneau steps into the box for the second time. He is 0 for 1. First pitch, a called strike. Bunch of movement. Michael McCary checking in. Thank you. Appreciate it. Stan Brothers again chiming in. Big swing and a miss on a breaking ball from Connor Payne by Charbonneau. Charbonneau is 0 for 1. He's got runners on first and second. One out. Up high a little bit with that one. Thirty people watching on YouTube live with us this afternoon. Preseason game for the Hornets as they're making a southern swing through central North Carolina, playing today, tomorrow, and Saturday, presumably before they hit the road back on Sunday to start their early season back at home in Hamden, Connecticut. Payne loses Charbonneau to a walk, loads up the bases now with one out, and Billy Cole stepping in. He's 0 for 2. Fly ball, right field. Brendan Patience under it, makes the throw into the cutoff. Bryce Cannon relays it. 
And the head first dive will be under the tag by J.J. Vondette, the catcher for the Patriots. One run, sack fly to right field. Makes it 11 nil for the Hornets in the top of the third inning with two outs. Charbonneau gets the ribby sack fly recorded in the book in his first game of 2024. That makes way for Atticus Bird. He is one for one. Home plate umpire. We should just give him fictitious names, Brian, so it sounds sure. like I know what I'm doing. Bob McGillicuddy. It's a good name, I guess, as there is any. Calls for time on the field as a courtesy runner for Lions, the starting pitcher. Taps his partner as they change places out on the infield on second base. Charbonneau on first. Oh, not. Mm, sorry. Abbreviated in Game Changer, so it's always playing games with me. Yep, that's Charbonneau. With Atticus Bird at the plate, who is one for one, as mentioned a moment ago. First pitch to Bird. As with the second, misses the strike zone. Two balls, no strikes, two outs. Runners first and second. Top of the third inning, Hornets with a comfortable 11 run lead. Fastball, inside corner, called strike as Bird pulls his knees back, just in case. I think the strike zone just got a little bit bigger. Say it isn't so, Brian. It isn't so. Breaking ball gets away from Vondette, gets to the backstop. Runners will advance down to third from second and second from first. Michael McGarry saying it's 63 where he's at year round. I cannot believe Hamden, Connecticut is 63 year round. I know those nor nor'easters. I grew up yeah. north of Albany. Don't Don't try to kid me, sir. I know better than that. Metro New York and Connor Payne gets the Patriots back to the dugout with the hope and expectation that they're going to be able to do a little bit of damage of their own as they come up here in a moment. Coming up next for the Patriots, Cirasol, Patience, and Chachio. We'll be right back. Monday, April 29th, the Apex Friendship Athletic Club invites golfers of all abilities to partake in their third annual AFPAC Booster Club Golf Tournament. This year's event, being held at the Club at 12 Oaks in Holly Springs, is a shotgun start at 11 a.m. The Jack Nicholas Design Course is guaranteed to provide a fun and memorable experience to all who partake in the four-person scramble event, including lunch, drinks, and a dinner banquet immediately following tournament play. All proceeds from this event will ensure a memorable high school experience for the student athletes of Apex Friendship High School by providing facilities, uniforms, and equipment. Don't wait. This is sure to be another sellout tournament. Register today by clicking on the link in the description notes of this broadcast. AFPAC looks forward to seeing you on and off the course on Monday, April 29th. Google Fiber, customer service is straightforward billing. Absolutely. No random fees. No hidden fees. Fast, reliable internet I don't have to think about. That's the plan. Find out if your address is eligible today at fiber.google.com. Back to live action, Patriot Park, Apex, North Carolina, just behind the high school and middle school. And an absolutely gorgeous March afternoon on a Thursday. You wish it were cooler, Brian? 
Fly ball, center field on the run, over the shoulder makes it look like a routine fly ball. McGarry covers some ground out there and makes it look easy to put a one pitch, one hit, one out on the board against the Patriots. Pitch to Brendan Patience fouled off out of play. Lions, what do we got on clock over there? 80 what? 87 on that pitch from Lions. Patience strikes out, two outs. Chacho, the center fielder, junior this year in 2024. Fly ball. McGarry sliding, makes the catch. Patriots come back out. For the bottom of the fourth inning. Top of the fourth inning, excuse me. An uphill effort here this afternoon in Patriot Park for the Pats in a scrimmage preseason game for the Hornets. Bob Flanagan coming back into us. What's the diagnosis, doctor? Well, unfortunately for all the hard work that he's put in, his uh, growth plate, which was the original reason for the IR, um, the growth plate, um, he felt good in warm-ups. Felt really good in warm-ups. Felt good in throwing in the second to last pitch. He started to feel it. And the last pitch, I, I, I couldn't tell from where I was standing, but it, the ball looked like it was no, it just kind of died. It, that's what happened. So let's and, make a quick uh, medical disclaimer here and HIPAA concerns of anybody in the audience. You can say it. It's your son. Thank you, sir, yes. for just clarifying that for our viewing audience so in it's case a, there it's are. A, it's, a, it, it's unfortunate. He's worked his butt off, and all it is is a growth thing. Um, he just grew a lot. The growth plate didn't grow with him. Um, Dr. Doctor Bloom, who's just outstanding, um, yeah, <laughs> there's nothing he really can do. It's going to be Advil or Tylenol and rest probably. They'll do an MRI on Monday. Um well, I'm glad to hear it sounds like, for the most part, he should be okay. It's probably a little bit more time on the IL for Cole, and hopefully toward the back end of the season maybe we'll get a chance to see him pitch again. If yeah. not, obviously the future ahead of him. I saw Siv come out of the dugout and look at me, Yeah, and he just throws his arms yeah. up. Yeah. And, um, and, and, you know, let me, let me make sure I say the right thing on that. Siv has been absolutely outstanding no with question. Cole with Cole and doing things the right way. So well, that's I mean, really nice to, to give such kind words to a strikeout for Connor Payne. Good on pitch. The bump. I mean, he's been outstanding. I, I, I have to give him props. I mean, he, you know, wanted to make sure um, he had Cole throw bullpens and stuff. And I don't know. Uh, I really don't know what to say. I've, well, I've rest felt. assured, everybody's doing everything they can for yep. the young athlete. Um, 
you know, a little bit of a, a tease into a future guest appearance will be Dr. Bloom, who's a sports orthopedic surgeon. And you and can talk about Cole there too. I, you know, there's no HIPAA rules with me. I, 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 you've already covered it. There's nothing more for me to say except the fact that we'll eventually hear from Dr. Bloom, not with regard to Cole, but just as a sports centric orthopedic surgeon who himself has years of experience on behalf of the apex friendship high school good pitch as well as yeah, in his own practice and so we really look forward to hearing from him to hear about his journey into medicine and then where it has gone and then possibly maybe we can impose on him as a parent of athletes and get kind of a mixed hybrid strike out number two here for connor Payne in the top of the fourth inning starting to send those hornets back to the nest And uh, I personally, I know we have we have a lot of parents as well as grandparents listening. And there's a lot to be learned from Dr. Bloom, uh, you know, coming from the orthopedic realm. I do personally, as well as Bob Flanagan does now, speak from experience with a student athlete child who incurred an injury, slapped into right. Oncoming is patience. Not going to be enough, though. Three bounces till it gets just in front of him, but That's well played. That's about the fifth of the, one of those kinds of hits. That they all are doing a terrific job. The Hornets are going across the plate, reaching and just slap hitting the ball shortly into right field. That's a perfect baseball play from the plate, offensively speaking. Good play. See Pick what off happens move when you throw to from first base once in a while. Connor Payne over good to move. Bryce Cannon. Not in time, but a good effort. We're not seeing that enough yet this season from the Patriots bullpen. Yep. But a well played, well executed attempt by Connor Payne. And hopefully as the kids watch back and listen to the broadcasts after the games, foul ball. They'll take note of that, and they'll see it as what it is, just factual statement of, you know, runners are, are going, right? And they have to put in the work and the due diligence. To well, the other night runners. they were leaning. They were literally yeah. leaning like they were going to run. This kid's not that Pain far Payne deals, breaking ball, lofted into left, backing up. Braden Bloom with a routine fly ball. I like the way he uh, field, fielded that. Went back on the ball, ready to come forward with it. Nice play. Well played by Braden Bloom. Normally a catcher, though he was in the outfield last year for the Patriots as a freshman. Played tremendously well in the varsity levels as a freshman. And then from there, actually was in the top. I want to say he ended the season last year as a freshman batting third highest batting average and I just gave away some of my own trivia question for today so since I already gave away the third best batting average last year for the Patriots Bob since we're in the bottom of the 11th we'll jump the gun with the trivia question here I guess I don't have it queued up, Anthony, my executive producer on the switcher for today. We'll see if we can't bring it up in a moment. There we go, Patriots, last season, who batted in at least 14 games as varsity. Which Patriots batted at or above 300 last year, Bob? That's the trivia question. Which Patriots batted last year at or above 300? Had at least 14 plate appearances in varsity and finished the season at 300 or greater. And I already gave one away, and that's Buster Bloom. That's who I was going to guess. I'll say. Uh, nope, don't say it till we come oh. back with the answer. That's oh. just a little bit of a tease. 
as we get back to live action. Come on, Bob, we got to make it professional like we're actually getting paid for this. And speak of the devil, Buster Bloom up to bat for He's the He's a Patriots. really good leadoff man. He's got good speed. Top of the batting order. Ryan Lynch now on the bump for the Hornets, left-handed pitcher. Now that right there was the pitch and the swing from Bloom, right, that we're seeing the Hornets do. He went after it. You know, he had one strike on him, so it wasn't like he had to protect per se, but be aggressive, right? They have been everything. Good Hard pitch. Ground good, ball. good job by Buster that time. Following Fouled that ball down the right off. side. That was a good job right there. Yeah, and every single batter, top to bottom in their lineup, oh, terrific. is, is, is yeah. aggressive going after yep. the ball. Yep. Always something to be learned from every outing. There you go. Line drive into right field for Buster Bloom. Good job. Desperately need to get this camera dialed in for our color. It looks terribly out of, out of adjustment, but very difficult with the camera angles and the sun to keep things well adjusted. Todd Farrell on the camera duties down there on the first base path. Good job. Pulled on. Good job, Brady. The first pitch, Brady Byler with a single down the left field line past the third baseman, Billy Cole. You know what I said last game, that he was check swinging everything. That was his best swing. That was that terrific. Was a, and you know what? And he went after the first pitch, yep. fastball. That was a nice job right there. Cole was playing. Billy Cole on third was well positioned for a third baseman with a runner on. It was backside for him. He reached for it, but that was but just a hard. well hit. He Brady hit Byler yeah. hit that ball well, pulled yep. it right down the line, exactly what you wanted to do in that situation to allow the runner nice to job. advance. Yep. Lynch also with a little bit of a three-quarter delivery from the opposite side as a left-handed southpaw pitcher. Steiner at the plate, 0 for 1. Steiner is due on the season yes, just he is solely. Due. He was hot last year at the plate, hence he's earned himself a three spot in the lineup and gets plunked. So Lynch will load up the bases with a hit-by-pitch. What do you think? We're going to come back here. Here's something I don't understand. Now, Catch Steiner it. just took that one in the left tricep or right. just above the elbow. Yes. Why, I, why is it the pros will wear the protection all day long, and you see them get to first and they throw it away, right? But at this level, the kids, and I, I'm going to call them kids because they're not making good decisions to go without that pro elbow protection, right? Well, but part of it is because – They've got so many other protections going on, they can't swing the bat. I, I like just I'm not sure what is. other protections you're speaking of, but clearly it's not the elbow protection. Lynch's three-quarter delivery finds the strike zone on Vondette for the first pitch. That was his pitch, Brian. I just want you know that, right? Yeah. Would you agree? You know, Lynch with an off speed under the 70 mile per hour mark. Other than that, he's been coming in on a fastball in the mid 70s. Sitting 75 to 79 on his fastball. Oh, go, cuffed go, go, it. Go, go, cuffed go, go, Bondet. Go. Civitello gets the force at second, but the relay from. Good hustle. Good Silla hustle to Lions, not enough, and Lions has to come off the bag. So a fielder's choice for runner for the catcher, number nine. The shortstop. <coughs> Barrett Lowe. See, I'm all proud. I want to call him Shivatello, but I have a feeling that might land wrong with the audience being a <laughs> Italian descendant myself. You let him tell you you can do that. I know, I know. I got to talk to Coach. It, it, it may be uh, strictly forbidden. The pitch, straight Atta up the boy. middle. Way to hit the ball. Connor Payne is red hot at the plate. That is his second hit of the day. He Way is two for ball. two. And now the Patriots. And you know what I liked about that? Brian, what I like about that? 
he hit the first pitch. The first pitch fastball, he attacked the ball. That's a great job right there. I'd like to think that for Coach Siv, he gets the opportunity to listen and watch back, or maybe just watch, no audio, right? But like football, you know, on Sunday or on Mondays rather, right? Uh, players are forced to watch back. I know his boss watches. And I wonder, you know, if, if that's an opportunity. I know Coach Siv probably assumes the boys are already doing it as they are on their own. He doesn't need to, but – it would be great to point those things out to them is to say, look at the numbers, statistically speaking. No, I, I you know. know who his yeah, boss I is? know. Sure. Who's his Mr. Boss? Clifton. No. Oh, his wife. His wife. Come <laughs> on, man. <laughs> well, Gee, stay well done. with the program here. <laughs> I'm a literal person, Bob. I'm as straight of a card as they come. <laughs> That's funny. Bryce Cannon at the plate. He's 0 for 1, but he's coming up. Fastball here, Bryce. Come on. Hit a gap out there. In some good spots at times. That's a boy. Right center gap. Come on, come on, come Drops on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. That's going to be another run. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, Bryce. Yes, sir. I'll tell Barrett you what. Barrett Lowe as a pinch runner makes it from second to home on a single by Bryce Cannon into the right center gap. Tina Ramirez as another courtesy runner. He makes it down to third from first. He's got good wheels. I'll bet his dad can't beat him. <laughs> Jason's standing right next to me. Tino Ramirez's right. dad doing our PA announcing this year. Stepped in where there was a void. Owen Sirisol now into the box. He's 0 for 1. Owen's dad also pitching in tremendously this year on behalf of the uh, Patriot family with all sorts of labor and activity around the grounds of Patriot Park. Who's that on first base? I'm sorry, What Bill, a great crew that. of parents we have this year. Bryce Cannon at first. Okay, they kept Bryce there. Cirasol okay. fouls one off into the woods. I was going to say get that runner over there, but never mind. One out. Let's go. That's in there. Fly ball gets down in right field. Charbonneau comes up, throwing. There is some lightning speed right there, going from first to second. You see that? Uh -huh. Bryce Cannon gets his yep. wheels down to second base. As Cirasol with an RBI single with Ramirez scoring from third. So runners first and second now with go. one out. Patriots yeah. putting four on the board here in the bottom of the fourth inning. Chipping away at that 11-run deficit, going to draw. I'm just going to say one thing to you, Bill. A visit from you made the a Hornets you, you made a head comment. coach. You made a comment about um, this could be a good thing. If they can come all the way back, this will be a season changer. Absolutely. The Patriots are a team far above what we've been seeing of them I agree. to date, right? Um, just plain and simple. We all know that. As co I've been told, Coach Civitello told them repeatedly that they possess all of the tools to be successful, and now it's just a matter of executing fundamentals at the right time and minimizing errors. I'm taking liberties there to say you know those things, but that was the general sentiment that he was expressing to them. And we're seeing flashes of that. First pitch called strike on Brendan Patience, who's playing right field today, while Buster Bloom is in left with Chaccio in center when the Patriots are on defense. Patience 0 for 1. Lions deals. Lynch, rather. My apologies. Lions is on first. Cole and Civitello on the left side of the infield. Silla and Lions on the right. Yellow, McGarry, and Charbonneau in the outfield still. One down here. Chernovitz behind the plate. The pitch popped up on the left side. Chernovitz drops the helmet, goes back, and catches it for a second out. Now batting center fielder, number five, Drew Chaccio. Here I can put that.
Two outs. Patriots dugout getting a little fired up. What is this, bottom of the fourth? Drew Chachio takes a first pitch. That has him walking out of the box. I'll let it hit you. Actually. The three-quarter delivery from Lynch is getting a little bit close for comfort on Chachio. Two outs, two on. Seven-run deficit for the Patriots in the bottom of the fourth. Runners he's like a, first he's like and a second. second leadoff man, though. He does, he does a great job batting in this spot of the lineup. Cannon off second. Cirocell off first. Breaking ball now from Lynch comes to the inside of the strike zone. 2-1 here. Getting a little bit of buffering from our interwebs connection. Not much we can do about it, sorry. Latency seems to be the issue on our connection. One bounce into Civitello over to second and gets the force for three. All right, cut into the lead, put four up on the board. So the Patriots put four on the board in the bottom of the fourth inning as we go to the top of the fifth in a moment. Live from behind the backstop on YouTube. We'll be right back. Back to live action as the Patriots facing off against the Hamden Hornets, Hamden Hall Hornets. Fly ball, left field on the run, Buster Bloom back toward the fence, gets under it, routine fly ball for